what is going on guys welcome back to another video and today i'll be telling you how to increase the rate of fire of your planet eclipse emech basically for free all you will need is a ballpoint pen a, ki a kit of allen wrenches a pair of pliers and a screwdriver uh, this can be different depending on which gun you use it on it is the same concept for pretty much every mechanical marker except you're just unscrewing different spots so basically we will be taking our allen wrenches and unscrewing these two spots on the trigger quick disclaimer i do not know if the ballpoint pen spring will be lighter than your certain gun but i know for sure that the stock emex spring is way stiffer than the ballpoint pen springs but it could be different depending on your gun so if you want you can just do this take out your stock spring and see if it's harder to push down than the ballpoint pen if not great put your original stock spring back but if so this video will help you out to increase your rate of fire so basically on the emec this will be different for all guns but on the emec you will be unscrewing these two screws that spot in the back and the in inside the trigger frame my bad um so basically there are only two screws you'll be unscrewing this will take a little bit uh, especially since it's in a very awkward position so you have to like slowly unscrew it you can't just continuously spin it so i'm gonna speed through this and i'll talk to you guys again when we're done unscrewing this and yeah Alright guys, so I just took out the first screw of my gun and I forgot to show you guys how to take out the spring of your ballpoint pen. So basically most uh, pens you can just pull off the tip like so and then you can take out that little ink cartridge that has the pen on it and here's the spring. This spring is already cut down because I already uh, replaced the trigger for my gun and I'm just redoing this to show you guys how to do it because I wanted to make sure it works before I made a video on it. So I already have the upgraded spring in my gun, so that's why it's already cut down. But uh, but all ballpoint pen springs will be longer than your stock trigger spring. Anyways, now that we got that out of the way, we will be unscrewing the second and final screw to our emec. Once again, we will be skipping through this. Well, not skipping through this, but speeding through this, and I'll be back when I'm done. Alright guys, so now that we got our second and final screw out, you can just set that aside like so, you do not want to lose these screws. Anyway, all you gotta do is put your hand there and lift up, it's kind of like a hinge, and you can just take it off and you can put it back very easily, you can understand how with the emac. Anyway, uh, peep the custom spray painted red detents and stuff. Anyway, uh, I'm just showing you uh, how you fast you can click the trigger. This is the three-way valve. You do not want to touch that. You don't want to mess with that. You can buy an upgraded three-way valve that will make your trigger pull shorter, but that's like $90 and that's a whole different thing. And what we're doing right now is free. Anyway, there are four screws, one, two, three, four. You will only need to take four screws out. And under that, that's where you will be uh, replacing the spring. Uh, right now I'm showing you the safety, I'm pretty sure and how fast you can click the trigger i recommend keeping it on safe because if you make it not safe then uh the safety can like fall out in the middle of it and it will just have a less chance of it falling out when you have it on safe anyway you can find any screwdriver as long as you have screwdrivers in your house you should be fine uh this is just i don't even know what size it is but this is the only screwdriver we have and that's just the basic size for screws. Anyway, we will be unscrewing these. I'm gonna speed through it like always, and I'll be back when I take this thing off. All right, so I just skipped through everything, and now we have all four of those very tiny screws out. Those are very hard to find if you drop them, and especially if you have carpet. So make sure you don't lose those, because those are obviously very important. Uh, all you gotta do is take your finger, take off that part right there here's what it looks like now moving on to the spring the spring sits on this little plastic nub that is on the trigger so basically all you gotta do is take the spring out this is the upgraded ballpoint pen spring that was already cut down uh, here is what the stock spring looks like it's very stiff all you gotta do is set it down on that nub and uh put that little plastic piece back on top so here's where the nub is that's exactly where it is you'll see it very easily when you do it in person because you take it off and you'll see exactly where it is it's very simple actually so all you gotta do take the spring put it on top like so 
and I'm just waiting for myself to do it. And yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, sometimes it can fall inside the cracks. If so, just flip your gun upside down. It'll come out easily. No need to worry. I'm having a little bit of issue in the video. Anyway, you set it right down. Be gentle. You don't want to shake it around until it'll fall out. Now you take the piece. So there is a little hole area right there. So you want to put that hole on top of the spring. It's like a little like indentation type thing right there that I'm putting my finger at. And then basically all you got to do, flip it around, take that, make sure you line it with the spring. You don't want the spring out of that. Set it down, push it down. Now you keep on holding it. Now while you're keeping on holding it, you're going to take your screwdriver and you're going to take your screws and you're going to screw everything back in. So we're going to get to that. Uh, I recommend doing uh, the top corner first. Just do one of the top corners. And then the next one, do one of the bottom corners. So for example, here, I'm doing the top left corner. Then the next one, do the bottom right. So that way, you can take your finger off. Because if you did the uh, top two, then you'd still have to hold your finger. So do the top left and bottom right, or top right and bottom left. So it'll just be easier for you. Um, I do have a magnetic tip on my thing, I mean on my screwdriver, so if yours does not have a magnetic t tip, it will be a little bit more difficult since these are very tiny screws, but you should be able to do it. Anyway, we're going to skip to when we're done, and yeah. Okay, so we just finished putting the final screw in, all four screws, they're very tiny, one, two, three, four, as you can see, they are all in there. Now that you do that you can start clicking the trigger and you can see how much lighter the trigger pull is it's very light uh you won't be able to walk the trigger obviously in a real game but i'm showing you that it's light enough that you can easily walk the trigger with it a uh, quick disclaimer um when you put air in the gun it will actually be like still like way stiffer than it is there so right now the trigger is so light that my fastest like trigger pulls per second is like eight or nine uh but then once you put air in it, it will actually uh, be able to raise it. So it will be more stiff. So there's more tension. So don't worry if you feel like, oh my gosh, it's way too light. I can't click it fast enough. Once you put air in it, it will be good. So this is how you put it in. Basically, put that tip and you just align it. You'll be able to easily see how to do it when you do it in person. And yeah, so if you have multiple springs, you want to make sure that you use the lightest spring. Okay, just trust me on this one. You don't want to use the middle lightest you want to do the lightest spring that you have because once you put air it will make it have more tension so it will make you shoot it faster anyway uh i recommend uh when you start off putting in these screws to use your finger because it's really difficult to do it with the allen wrench because it'll be like really loose anyway we're gonna skip forward as always because this is a long process to screw back in but anyway i'll be back when i'm done Okay, so here we are. We have the frame back together. Here's me clicking the trigger. Uh, I promise you guys, this is not sped up. Um, so as you can see, it is a very light trigger. You cannot, it's literally impossible to walk the trigger with the stock spring because it's so stiff. Anyway, here is me putting the gun together because obviously you guys will want to see a shooting video. So here we have the Emac once again, showing off how fast you can click the trigger. I'm using the custom products one piece 14 inch barrel it's a 0.685 bore i highly recommend that bore compared to the 0.689 i've shot both and 0.685 is way better uh pretty much every field has 0.685 or less bore sized paint i've been to three different fields and they all are were 0.685 or under so 0.689 is way too big in my opinion i'm not a pro okay but i highly recommend it anyway i have uh, grease on the barrel threads also uh, i highly recommend upgrading your barrel because there's way more porting and it's longer it'll shoot faster straighter it'll be more air efficient and just everything's better so i highly recommend for your first upgrade for the planet clips emac or any gun in general that doesn't have a good barrel uh to upgrade your barrel uh the stock barrel is like a 10 inch barrel it's really short really stubby sounds like a cannon because there's no porting it does not shoot straight at all i mean it does shoot straight guys but it's not really that straight it's still like left and right and stuff um so yeah highly recommend getting an upgraded barrel 
Also, if you didn't already, you should put an O-ring on your barrel. It'll just make it easier to put on and take off and it won't strip the threads as easily. Anyway, putting this on, sorry guys, this is kind of a long process. Not really, but anyway, here's what it looks like on the gun. Now we will be taking the tank and this is the Empire Megalite 68 cubic inch tank. Uh, 4500 psi i have the hk army vice grip it's the red and black swirl i just memorized the name for all of these things by the way i also have a it does not come with that whatever it's called nipple cover yeah it does not come with the nipple cover i bought that separately uh yeah i also have the tank lubed up moving on to the hopper i have the pal hopper it's a really good hopper highly recommend it if you do not have it already with your Planet Eclipse EMEC or any PAL enabled gun, you can shoot. It will sh literally shoot as fast as you click the trigger. I'm not even kidding. Um, obviously, if you get the Hair 45 valve and a custom trigger, it will like shoot way too fast for the PAL. But if you use a stock trigger, it will shoot fast enough. Uh, by the way, this was all custom spray painted by me, the bolt cap, the hopper, the detent. If you guys have not seen my channel yet, forgot to mention... Don't forget to like and subscribe with post notifications on if you enjoy the content. Anyway, here's a shooting video. And don't worry, there aren't any paintballs in here. I am dry firing it under a pillow. Alright guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If this helped you out in any way or entertained you, don't forget to like and subscribe with post notifications on. It means a lot to me. I put a lot of effort into these videos. They take a lot of time to film and edit. So yeah, that's going to be it. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. I'll see you guys later.